Morning guys, um, this is just a short clip uh, that will walk you through uh, setting up products on uh, using WooThemes uh, within the WordPress backend. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take you through um, adding when the deal goes down as a new product. So first thing we need to do is log in. I've already got Cincy's um, credentials saved. I just hit log in. Um, this is, I've set you both up as shop managers. So you will both have, at the moment, just access really to um, update Woo. So here you are, we're in, uh, we're in WordPress now. Um, you're familiar with this. WooCommerce is up here. And essentially there are, there are two tabs. The, the WooCommerce tab has things like, it, is the system overview basically. Um, Mary, you'll be able to see the feedback on, on the orders you have. Uh, reportings and you've got your system settings, status, etc. Um, I'll cover these in a, a separate clip for you. Okay, uh, what we're looking more at today is this menu here the products. Um, this is what you use to uh, manage and add products to your store, uh, which once you've um, been through the process here you you'll then automatically see the products added uh to the front end of the store um on on the on the client end as, as you log into the site um it basically you'll you'll see it become very obvious to you it basically the principle of, of adding products is very much like adding a news post um and just in the same way as you add a news post um, the database can filter it and assign it to different categories um, or tags. Um, products can be handled in exactly the same way. You can, you can um, tag, um, in this instance, when the deal goes down, we'll tag it as a CD. And then your CDs can all appear in one category. Um, if you've got a category, category set up for T-shirts, you can filter all your T-shirts, etc. Same using... Uh, tags it's basically just a different way of doing it doing a similar thing um also here you'd set up your your shipping classes um, i'm not going to cover that now mary um essentially i've got the i've got the plugin loaded um i need to look at it um i will send you a subsequent little clip um about that with some information about that okay so right um to begin then um so we want to add a new product so we go to products Add product, very straightforward. And I'll apologise if my um, if my broadband's a little slow. It can be a bit. Okay, and as you, as you can see, um, the, the 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 screen you uh, the screen you get is very uh, very similar to a um, an add new post screen. Uh, the 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 options on the on the right hand side um, are are pretty pretty much the same. Um, you have a field here to add the title. You have a field here to add text. Um, into this field, you could drop a um, a, a, a video clip. You can um, when we've got SoundCloud set up, uh, we can add um, we could add a, a, a a player with uh, samples um, of, of the tracks. It's, all, it's also probably the obvious place to put the track listing. Um, other things you want to be doing, uh, title, tag, meta description. You want to be filling these in. Uh, it's good C uh, SEO practice. Um, none of the rest of this stuff is really necessary until we get down to here. Um, product data and these this area from product data down these are all specific fields um for woo okay so we'll see these in a little detail um in more detail in, in, in a moment or two so what we what we want to do first is is give the product an identity so i've actually cut and pasted um 
the info to save you from my appalling typing. So I'm just going to just paste the title in there. As you can see, I'm, I'm just dropping in the track listing here. As I said before, um, you can use the same editing tools, the visual editor and the text editor, as you want a post. What I would say, and this, this applies to anything uh, since the, that we're doing on the site going forward, I really want to get away from move, uh, using these um, formatting buttons. Um, it just leads to lots of inconsistency. And when there's formatting applied here, it overrides uh, what's going on in the CSS. What I will do is I will provide you with uh, tags for styles that you can then, then apply. So if you could just do me the favor um, as, as we're setting up the site and just really just totally avoid using those, um, it will save us having to go back and clean up uh, code and content uh, before we launch. Okay, so add new product when the deal goes down, track listings in. What we want to do then is I've already set up a category called CDs. You want to select that, okay? Uh, you could give it a tag so people can search by tags. Again, let's just call it CD. There's one set up. If there's something set up, it will, it will flag there. So we just add that. Um, thesis uh, skin custom template. Um, these are all the different uh, templates that are, are, are created in Thesis for different types of page. Um, you don't, in, in this instance, you don't need to select anything because it's already defaulting to the correct Woo template. Um, sidebars, there's nothing to select here. Um, product gallery, um, if you had, for instance, a t-shirt where you might have um, three or four images uh, for the same product, uh, such as a, a photograph of somebody wearing the shirt, and then maybe um, images um, of, of uh, like a close-up image of the front and then a close-up image of the back print, you would use the product gallery option uh, to add those images. Usually, and especially in the case of, of, of what we're doing here, adding uh, David's catalogue um, up, uh, we only need really need to add the product image. Okay, so what we do is go set product image. That brings up the standard uh, dialogue. <coughs> Excuse me. Brings up the standard dialogue um, for um, the um, WordPress, uh, the WordPress media um, library. Okay, and you have two two standard options. Again, this is just the same as working with posts. You have um, the option to upload the media direct from the library if it's already there, which in this case it is because I added it last night. Um, you also have, and this is um, what you'd be um, using, since I guess, is you have this upload um, files option that you'll be familiar with um, because you'll be bringing in the covers, um, I, I'm guessing from your, from your desktop. But in this case, we can go to media library. Um, and we select our choice. Um, just just a quick note, and this is this is a, a, a general thing um, about um, adding images. As much as possible, I need to get you guys into the habit of um, filling in this area here. Um, as as standard at the moment in Woo, the way Woo's uh, set up, and you'll see it when we, we've got the product set up and when we review it, is by default, if you've got nothing in the title field, it will pull in the, um, the file name, which is usually very non-descriptive. It's also not very helpful from an SEO point of view. So... What you want to do is, is retitle here, put the correct title, uh, you know, 
properly spelled with correct grammar into the title field. Um, captions we don't need. Um, alt text is always good from an SEO point of view. And description um, can't help either. Again, I'm just going to paste the, uh, the title in. Um, David only it's just uh, when the deal goes down CD um, obviously you, you might want to put more um, again where it shows up um, all depends on 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 the on the plugin and the theme uh, it can't hurt to have it in there and it's probably good from an SEO perspective this uh, this stuff at the bottom here um, Jig, Justified Image Grid, that's the plugin I'm, I'm using to manage uh, photo content throughout the site. You can ignore these um, these selections and, uh, and options. So, so just, you know, it's really the title, the alt text and the description that any time you, you add a photo for any reason whatsoever, you should be filling out. Okay, so once that's done, we set the product image. Okay, and you can see now that uh, the image has um, been added to the product record that we've created. Um, now that that's in place, what we're going to do is we're going to add the, uh, the, the, uh, the information uh, regarding price, shipping, etc. So that's very, very easy to do. Um, there are essentially two types of, or possibly three types of product within Woo. There's a simple product like this, which means it's, there's, essentially there's one option to it. Um, and you've got two versions of a simple product, basically. You've, you've got, in this case, a hard copy physical object which you're going to ship. You've also got the object, uh, sorry, the option within Woo, um, as you can see here to um, work with virtual downloadable products. Um, but we're doing that um, using Bandcamp, um, I believe. Um, SKU, um, I would ignore it's, a, um, it's an inventory. You can use the system to track stock, basically. Um, if you want to do that, you can read up on that in, in, in the Woo, um, uh, uh, the Woo literature and, and help tutorial files yourselves. Um, all you really need to um, put in to set a product up is the price. Uh, no, um, no currency indicator. The currency is all set um, in the settings. So I just I'm using the um, price I've, I've seen on Amazon, by the way. So this might need to be changed. So it's twelve dollars ninety eight. Um, don't forget, you do need the decimal point in there. Now, one really cool thing, again, this is something that you can investigate on your own, is you're able to put a, a sale price in here, should you want to, uh, which means, for instance, um, we could say, you know, prior to, to, to the album being shipping for the last 48 hours, we want to offer it at, there you go, it's giving me a warning, so I didn't put the decimal point in, um, um, that we uh, want, we're going to offer it as a special offer for ten bucks. Okay, and what you can even do—it's really clever—is you can set a date range for that. So you could say from between now and release date that the twelve dollars ninety-eight is overridden by ten dollars, and when we get to release date, the system will automatically take the sale price off and put the regular price back in. Uh, very handy. I'm sure you'll find lots to do with that. So we'll just take that out because we're obviously we're not going to do it, or you're going to decide to do it. It's not my my call. So we've got the price, inventory, um, managed stock. As I say, the system can manage stock levels. You can put, you know, you can put how much stock you've got in. Um, up to you to investigate that. What is very useful though is you've got this stock status. Um, drop down in stock out of stock if something's out of stock you can just come in here 
set it to out of stock, save the record, and it will immediately show us out of stock on the um, on the site. And it will allow back orders or disallow back orders as well. Okay, and there's a customer notification. Again, you might have to investigate these um, settings yourself. Also, as a notice, you can restrict whether, um, if you're a limited edition, whether only one copy can be sold in a particular order. Um, whether that's applicable, I don't know. Um, shipping... Um, Essentially, um, this Mary will have to go through in, in, in detail in another thing. Um, essentially, since he, all you'll need to be looking at is applying the shipping class. There's nothing set up as yet. Um, in fact, I say that it's this is what you want: enable per product shipping cost. Um, Sorry, because I've, I've only just added this module, so this is this is new to me as well. Um, again, you'll need to enable that, and then I will have to give you some more detail into what needs to be entered here. But you can go back and do this after all the products have been set up. So at least for the time being, after this video, you'll be able to go in, set the products up, add the product images, um, and the prices. But essentially, what we can do here is we can um, add codes for the country um, in the US, the state, um, the postcode, etc. Um, you've got options um, to um, add the, um, the cost by the line item and then by the, um, by the number of items. Um, um, and I think, Mary, the way looking at this, as I say, I've not had time to look at the documentation yet, but what you would do is you would actually set yourself up, as you can see here, a, a spreadsheet with all of your different shipping options. You would import that into the back end, and then you should get um, uh, a, a set of options here as to what you then apply um, on a, on a product by product basis um, and a title by title basis, I'm, I'm assuming um, the obvious ones would be, um, you know, USA and Canada, um, rest of the world, Europe, those kind of things. Um, but as I said, we'll we'll cover that elsewhere. Um, linked product. There is this kind of um, upsells, cross sales option which allows you, and I, I guess once it's, if it's set up, um, um, you may have more options here. Um, but basically what it, what it allows you to do is when, when you're in the store, it will all automatically, you can set the system up to pull other products up to, to show on the product page um, underneath the product you're selling. So, for instance, you might you might have a um, a great example would be um, you know perhaps um, when the deal goes down, it you create um, cross sales so that it shows the thematic series, for instance, or predicting the past things like that. Um, attributes um, attributes we don't need for simple products. We need attributes um, for variable products. And a variable product would be something like a T-shirt. Um, it, it's probably the only kind of version of a variable pro product you're going to deal with. Um, the, the variation being obviously size and perhaps colour. And attributes are you need to set up um, in order to have your different price breaks um, and your options of um, selecting um, different sizes and uh, different colours of a product. Um, advanced, I'm not quite sure, I don't know what this is. Um, you can actually, 
I wouldn't advise you to do it. Um, just like you can have commenting, um, you can actually enable reviews. Um, and you obviously got some um, options here. There's obviously some sort of um, extra um, text field and um, an option to order how things appear in menus. Um, again, this is stuff, um, you know, you're going to need to do some digging in and, and find the things um, that, that, that you can make best use of for yourselves. Um, I can give you the basics um, and there's some very, very good documentation which I'll show you how to access um, at the end of this. Um, but I, 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 I don't know, um, you know, apart from the standard things, um, necessarily all the things you can do with Woo. Um, so, you know, this is very much we're learning together here. Um, and that's really um, all you need to do. Um, there is this short um, product description field um, that can uh, that can be um, handy, um, where you could drop in um, just some dummy. Uh, well, in this case, if I had some prepared, I might uh, just drop in some dummy text just to show where it appears. Um, it, it, it's just um, throws up text. In, in different display options when you get into the into the um, the, the on-site end of the, of the store. You don't have to use it. And these custom fields um, at the moment, um, I, I would ignore as well. I, I, I don't know what they're for, but they don't affect anything. The only thing that you really need to be filling in um, for, the, um, for, the, for the album, certainly, is your general tab with your price, uh, your inventory, I'm going to change that stock status back to in stock. Just check that your, your inventory is in stock um, and your shipping. And then if you want to go as far at this stage, link products. That's all you need to be looking at. Okay. And of course, adding the, pro, uh, adding the product images. And that's it. It's simply then just like, a, um, just like any other post, you publish it. And just like everything else on my machine, it takes a while. And then you've got the option to view product. Um, what I tend to do um, when I'm uh, working in WordPress, and I don't know, uh, since I don't know uh, if you're working on a, a Mac or a PC, I basically use my modifier key, my Mac uh, Apple key, uh, to click and it bring it brings up a new uh, brings up the site in a new tab for me so I can easily skip back between WordPress and the front end and here you go here is our first product um, don't worry too much um, about the styling I've not, I've not looked at it yet we've got a few products in and then what I will do is I will apply um, standardized uh, styling for the size of the titles etc uh, these colors can also be changed um, in um, in the woo settings um, but you can basically um, you can see a few things here uh, we've got the product image we've got the name and the price of the product um, you've got the breadcrumbs uh, basically showing you the path to it I will probably take these out I don't think we need these um, certainly at this stage and you can also see what category and tags are in we could actually have um, in, in the sidebar here because I will be changing the content here to be uh, more appropriate to the to the store functionality you could actually have a category list here that would be um, for instance CDs t-shirts artwork uh, books I, I don't know whatever's appropriate to David that we that we add up as, as product types um, as you can see underneath we have the product description um, in this case it's nothing more than the track listing um, I guess there's options here to have more tabs um, I've not investigated those yet um, it may be that when you set your um, gallery up, 
it would appear in a separate tab. Likewise, the upsells, cross-sells, they may appear in separate tabs, I don't know. Or you may see, uh, as we talked about, if we do an upsell um, for the thematic series, linked to when the deal goes down, they may well appear across the bottom. Um, again, it's a voyage of discovery for all of us, but the, the, the functionality is there. And as you can see, it's very easy to, to, to use. Um, so um, how does it work for, for the customer? Very easily, um, you can you know add, uh, oh look, good customers adding seven, seven copies, wants to buy seven, add it to your cart. You can see that you've got a successful order. You're notified of that. Um, you can view cart here. As you can see, I've also put a shopping cart tab in on the on the main nav uh, for returning customers. Now, what I may well do is actually drop that down so it becomes a drop down of shop. Um, I've not done that simply because I've I've not done any um, formatting for drop downs in the style yet. Um, it just makes it easier to see just to have it there. So we go to view cart, and again, this is all um, all kind of standard stuff you'll be familiar with, with, with from any kind of e-commerce uh, retail outlet. Uh, you have the option here to delete the line item totally. I just realized, oh, what an ass. I, I've ordered seven. I actually only wanted one. Sorry, Mary. Uh, so I can just change my quantity here and update. Giving us 12 bucks 98. Um, free shipping, don't worry about this. This is only kind of defaulting to free shipping um, because we've not got anything set up in the, uh, in the shipping calculations as yet. Um, and then what you do, you've got you've got a, a shipping calculation um, based on, as you can see, you can select your location, um, state, country, postcode, update, update your totals. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, as you can see, this um, obviously draws from the information, Mary, that you will set up in the settings, um, and it will apply. Um, it will apply prices according to what you set up um, for for the shipping based upon um, region and location. If I click that now, it's not actually going to do anything. It just tells me it's updated, but it's just updated as free shipping because, as I say, we've got no values entered in. Okay, so... Proceed to checkout would be your next option. Um, again, all very standard. You can set up all your billing details uh, here. Um, as you can see, it's actually pulled in since his email address um, automatically somehow. Um, Maybe you have to have a look at that. Um, there is an option. Um, I, I again, it's something that would need further investigation. Um, that you can actually have a uh, a login system, uh, so that that people have to register with the site. Um, I I don't know as it's actually necessary or appropriate. Um, especially as we haven't got reviews activated. So there's, there's no exposure to, to being spammed uh, through the site. So I've just got it set up at the moment as, as you just go in and you just put your details in. But obviously, if you have that, that login, um, uh, that option to set up users, set up customers, um, I guess what you then get is the option, if you're a returning customer, to have your... Um, your data and information saved and you can recover it uh, to save you re-entering. Re um, ship to different address, you know, standard functionality and order notes. And I guess there's, there's an option in the back end to um, 
to, to customize that message there. Okay. And then down at the bottom, what you will see is again, and again, this needs a little styling. Um, what you will see is your payment um, gateways, your payment options. At the moment, the only one that is uh, enabled, and again, Mary, you'll be able to, to look at this and make your own choices uh, in the settings, is PayPal. Okay. Um, there are... Um, there are two other options that you might want to consider using straight away. There is an option for setting up uh, wire transfers, um, and there is also an option to take payment by check. Um, and I'm guessing you could possibly limit those uh, on a regional uh, level so that you could just enable uh, check payment um, for, for US uh, customers and no one else. Um, again, Mary, that's something for you to look at and decide when you're going through the back end settings. Um, and then, bang, click, you go to PayPal, you pay through PayPal, it brings you back to the site. Um, so, in effect, all we're using PayPal to do now is to process and handle the payment. Um, all the buttons set up uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, is done automatically through WordPress. We don't use PayPal for buttons, um, inventory, anything like that anymore. That's all done by, by Woo. PayPal is just used for um, processing payment. Um, and of course, there are options uh, as well as if you buy the appropriate add-on uh, modules uh, to add um, credit card um, and, and um, other payment gateways. Um, and that's the order process. Um, the shopping process is, it is in terms of what you have to do, it's nothing. It's great, isn't it? Look at this. Um, I don't know why that single result, we'll probably dump that and we'll probably dump this, uh, this path uh, uh, break from trail as well but essentially um, you set up the product you save it it appears in the store automatically all nicely laid out um, that's all you have to do um, we can set this um, at the moment I've just set it to display products because you're only working on one category you're only working on putting the cds in so as soon as you add um the cds they will appear in this section here and they are set to appear in alphabetical order i believe um there are options to sort out mary and obviously what we might want to do is bring when the deal goes down to the top Though, if we can't do that, obviously what we'll have in the, you know, the rest of the site in this area somewhere is there'll be lots of, of banners available that will take you straight to the product. Um, but that's not something you need to worry about. That, that'll be the stuff that I'm looking at. Um, so, so that's it as far as the kind of front end uh, client um, facing um side of things goes um just to go quickly to go back uh into wordpress and because i've got that as a tab as I said before i just want to show you we've been dealing here as i say we've just been dealing with setting up one product okay the other um thing that you'll be using um or, or a couple of things you might want to do is uh, set up a new category um, because once you've got all the uh, once you've got all the t uh, CDs added, I know David's got a, a, a couple of other bits and pieces. You can see here I've added CDs. Um, I've, I've not actually set a category image uh, for it, but what we'll do, we'll quickly edit that. Um, just so you can see how it works. So setting up a category, very, very simple. Um, you know, a name, a slug, a slug is um, 
what appears up here behind the the, 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 the path. It's the, it's the page identifier, as it were. Um, parent, um, you, you, you can nest categories. So for instance, you could have a music category and within the music category, you could show CDs and vinyl, okay? Um, display type, not quite sure how that works. Just leave it on default. Thumbnail, and this is what I'm gonna, gonna do now, is I'm gonna add a thumbnail for the category. Um, and because it's CDs, I'm just gonna use the, um, use our um, when the deal goes down sleeve when this wakes up there you go and use the image okay <coughs> again um, you should um, um, oh no now here title tag um, you don't want to do it do it based upon the image. Uh, what you want to do is title tag um, David. I told you my typing was crap. Uh, David Olney compact discs, something like that, and the meta meta description might be. Um, Music by David Olney, um, CDs, and vinyl, perhaps. Um, and then keywords here. Again, this is just all good SEO practice, and you want to be applying this uh, with all your posts as well which means once the site's up going through the post categories and doing the same thing here, but also when you create posts and pages, um, you've got the same options to fill these fields in. So David only CDs as, as, as keywords and perhaps put compact discs and albums in there for good measure, okay. Um, there's no custom template required for this. Um, and then we just update. And you can see now we have a thumbnail in place for this category. Now, if we go, um, if we go into the Woo si um, system settings, um, and we go to products. Again, this isn't something, um, you, you, certainly since you shouldn't really um, be needing to, to, to use at this stage. Um, but I just wanted to show you shop page display. At the moment, I've just got it set up to show products. If I change that to show subcategories, hopefully if I've understood it correctly, we go back to the store now. There you go. It's just showing the CD category. So what it what it allows you to do is, if you've got um, as your initial landing page for your customers, you might just show the categories: CDs here, vinyl albums, T-shirts books and it gives you a count of how many products within there and then you just click through and then you would get all your selections within those categories. Um, it's, it's just another way of further organising um, your, your, your inventory. Um, we'll probably end up, I would imagine we'll probably end up using it for David um, because he's actually got quite a lot of stock on a smaller store uh, for, for other artists when they've only got maybe you, you know up to 10 different items of merch 
total, um, I probably wouldn't bother using it. Um, so I'm just gonna go and take that option back off. Um, you can also show both as well, um, but we just change that back to show products. Save changes. Okay, and if we go back again, this is a great thing about having having using your tabs. Um, if we go to store home, see that's a um, clickable. Oops, no, that is actually taking me to the to the home of the site, not the home of the store. We we'll just go shop. You can see we've reverted just to showing the individual product, not the category. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you while we're in products, um, so I've shown you how to set up a product, I've shown you how to set up a category, setting up um, different tags to, to, to attach to uh, products is exactly the same as setting up categories. Um, shipping classes, Mary, uh, we'll, again, we'll cover this in the, in the next film but here this is where you would set those up um, a shipping class would perhaps be um, uh, let's see uh, USA would be one Europe um, rest of world and then you might have USA um, FedEx USA post you'd set them you would set them up in here. What I don't know is actually whether you're going to use shipping categories because you've got the um, because you've got the options uh, within the new shipping module. Um, but just to let you know, if you do need shipping classes, they're they're managed from here. Um, attributes again, that's only applicable um, for variable products um, such as t-shirts. Again, that just gives you an overview to set up and manage attributes, um, you know, in one go rather than doing it on a product by product basis when you set a new product up. Um, just a different way of doing the same thing. Um, but this is what I wanted to show you really. It's, it's again, when you're, as you're setting up the um, David's um, catalog, uh, this is what you you'll um, be using a lot, as well as the ad, you know obviously the ad product. But if you want to go back and edit anything at any time, um, then the, the then the products uh, selection is what you want. Um, and then what's going to uh, that's going to bring you to this screen. And as you can see, it's very much like the posts um, or posts screen. If we go to all posts, you see it's a, exactly the same sort of layout. Um, products. And what you've got here, you've got options. Um, when, you know, when we've got a lot of product in here, if you're actually trying to find something, you can filter via the categories and the product types. You can do a you can do a name search for something. Obviously, you can see the title, um, whether it's in stock or not, um, the price, the categories, the tags, um, etc. Um, I'm not sure, but it might even show you when you've got orders whether there's an order against it. But that might be in a separate, um, separate area. Um, and then here, you've you've got your your, your different um, options. You've got product ID within the system. Uh, you can edit it. You can quick edit. Which really, unless you're um, needing to change. Um, product descriptions, images, um, this is where you would probably do that. Now, for instance, here, the slug, I've actually set the product up and deleted it a couple of times already. So it's given me when the deal goes down, 
hyphen three. We can actually change that to just when the deal goes down. Um, use your options within um, posting within WordPress. You can um, you can backdate things, um, which as you're adding the catalog might be a good idea because then you will probably get um, um, in in the front end we can probably get it to send uh, to sort the catalog by release date. Um, so as you set everything up, and you've got this option when you set the products up as well. In the it's usually over here uh, where where the um, where the posting option is. You can select uh, you can select a date. Um, <clears throat> what you can do is if you put a, obviously if you put a past date that um, it helps sorting and, and, and the ordering of products. If you were to put a future date, it allows you to schedule posts. And this, this works within posts as well, Mary. Um, you know, again, this is standard functionality. So if you, if you were to put, um, if you weren't, for instance, doing pre-orders on an item and it was only gonna be available for a limited period you know, on a certain day, you could set it all up, and you could you could set it to appear on the site at a specific date and a specific time. Um, obviously, that's kind of a cool way to uh, generate some demand. Um, the thing is, you can also quickly um, manage in 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 this screen is you can change the price, you can change the sale price. Um, in your settings, Mary, you've got. Um, tech tax options. Um, I doubt we'll need um, weight and dimensions. Um, I guess that's applicable for shipping. Um, where it's you see here, we've got we've got a featured option. Um, I guess for when the deal goes down, we might want it to be featured. That's going to um, I guess bump it up in the uh, in the sorting somehow whether it's in stock or out of stock, whether you allow back orders. Um, I'm not quite sure what order. Oh, or, order is, I think the order it appears in this listing. Um, you can also, uh, like a post, you can have things pending review or draft so that you can work on them and they're not set up. Uh, they're not set and are visible on the site directly. Um, you also somewhere here have the option to um, have a product, just like a post, have it as private or password protected if you wanted to restrict access for whatever reason. I can't imagine you'd want to do it for a, for a product, but you certainly might want to do it for a post. Um, product categories, as you can see, um, we've set categories up so they appear here. Uh, when you've got your shipping classes set up, they would appear there. And again, you just select the ones you want to apply to this product. Um, so we've made some changes. We, we, we've edited that. We've, uh, we've made it um, featured somewhere there. So I actually do want to save this and update it. Okay. Um, that's it. That's how you basically set up a product, how you set up a category, set up a tag, um, how the um, ordering process works for your clients, um, how the um, catalog items you're gonna set up over the next few days are gonna appear on site. Um, it pretty much should give you the, just a the general overview um, any any specific questions? I would um, in the first instance, I would point you to if we go if we hit the WooCommerce top level uh, tab. Where is it? Oh, here you go, Mary. This is where you would see all your orders uh, when they start to, to appear. And you'll also see statuses for orders, whether it's been, um, whether you've had, whether it's pending payment, whether you've put it on hold, etc. Um, some very, very good reporting uh, here. 
But what I actually want to do is if we go, I think it's in settings. Um, thesis help. Ba, ba, ba. Here we go. It's the help help tab here. Um, I'm just wondering if that's available from uh, from products as well. Let's just have a quick look. Yes, it is. Okay, so if you want to find out more, um, if you if you're struggling with something. Um, rather than um, coming to me first, um, then you've got the support options here. Um, and the WooCommerce documentation is actually very good. Um, and it will explain and take you through all the basics. Um, essentially, this is what I use, Mary. Um, to to get me up and running um getting started here you go and it covers the you know the main areas from installing which you don't need to bother about settings and options mary that might be worth a read for you and then here setting up products selling products um, dealing with payment options shipping managing uh, managing your orders and your reporting uh, that you'll find I, th I think you'll find it be a very very useful resource I know I did and then there's some more um, information about those documents there um, that's where where I'd point you um, in in the first instance if you're if you're struggling um, to, to find what you need. Uh, in the second instance, I would say, please just do a quick Google search um, with, with your, your query. This is how I work pretty much with everything, you know, with plugins. Um, if, you're, uh, if you still can't resolve it, please then obviously come to me. Um, you know, drop me a, a, either a message through Facebook or uh, an email and I'll get back to you. I, 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 I just want to kind of just be the last, uh, uh, the last link in 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 the support chain. Um, just at the moment, really, uh, just because obviously I've got my hands full with all the things I've got to do on the site, um, and also I actually think it's good for you guys um, to actually just get in there and dig in and get familiar with things. Um, you're restricted. You've both got um, shop um, shop manager um, access. Uh, that's all you've got access to um, at the moment. Um, although Mary, if you want to have a play around and have a quick look at Gig GigPress, there you go. That's where GigPress works the same way. Uh, since again, you might want to have a look. Add shows. Um, see shows, uh, add artists, add venues, add tours. Um, it all works on the same principles as posts and products. It's all the same kind of functionality. You add a record per event, per product, per news story, and then you've got the various options within the database to sort that and present it. Um, and you've got options to just um edit edit posts and stuff what you haven't got is you haven't got any options to go monkeying around with plugins um i'm i'm sure we'll 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 um get that enabled for you at some point since um just while we just set things up um it, it's just easier for me if we're not treading on on each other's toes with with that um, um until we get some um um sort of um, guidelines down for, 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 for who's doing what um, yeah that's it that's the end oh, sorry it's, this one's been a long one um, it's, it's covered a lot I hope this is helpful and as I say Mary there'll be some subsequent ones um, for you uh, dealing with settings okay so best of luck guys and I'll talk to you very soon bye